there is no great delight than to be conscious of sincerity on self-examination. The feeling of right or wrong is the beginning of wisdom. Sincerity is the way to heaven. Treat others as you would be treated. Devote yourself to that, for there is no more direct approach to humanity. A trail through the mountains, if used, becomes a path in a short time, but if unused, becomes blocked by grass in an equally short time. The disease of men is that they neglect their own fields and go to weed the fields of others. He who goes to the bottom of his own heart knows his own nature, and knowing his own nature, he knows heaven. When heaven is about to confer a great office on a man, it first exercises his mind with suffering and his sinews and bones with toil. It exposes his body to hunger and subjects him to extreme poverty. It confounds his undertakings. By all these methods, it stimulates his mind, hardens his nature, and supplies his incompetences. If you know the point of balance, you can settle the details. If you can settle the details, you can stop running around. Your mind will become calm. If your mind becomes calm, you can think in front of a tiger. If you can think in front of a tiger, you will surely succeed. Charity is in the heart of man and righteousness in the part of man. Pity the man who has lost his part and does not follow it and who has lost his heart and does not know how to recover it. When people's dogs and chicks are lost, they get out and look for them and check the people have lost their hearts, do not give up and look for them. The principle of self-cultivation consists in nothing but trying to look for the lost heart.